says this month's saffron rouge just arrived and I cannot wait to open this puppy up. Let's get started. A quick review of last month's products. I really, really loved a lot of what came in the box. Actually, I'm wearing the little blush sample that we got right now. I've been using the aromatherapy spray a ton at work. The lip balm, I'm only like lukewarm about. I'm not sure it's the right shade for me. And the little oil pills that you're supposed to use before bed, I found that they're kind of duplicative. The fact that I used oil to take off my makeup, it ends up being kind of like putting oil on top of oil. So they're great for the days where I don't wear makeup and I have nothing to remove before bed, so then I put the oil on. But it's definitely not something I would buy only because I use oil as a makeup remover. So if you don't, definitely check them out. Ooh, this month looks packed. So here's the little box it comes in. And when we open it up, we have this month's guide. Oh, it looks like it is a St. Patrick's Day theme. And it does have a code for 20% off discount on the next order, so I will make sure to put that discount code in the description box below. Oh, what a cute little bag. So this month it comes in a little drawstring bag. That is adorable. And it looks like everything is green themed. So let's see what we get in here. The first little sample, it says it's an eye serum by Kahina Eye Beauty. I'm not sure if that's pronouncing it right. It says it's giving beauty Morocco from New York. It's an ultra moisturizing argan oil with plant, natural plant extracts and multi-peptides to smooth and firm the delicate skin around the eyes. So that'll be interesting to try. It is a little teeny sample, but I guess that's okay because you're not really using a lot anyway. So that's product number one. Product number two, we have, oh, this is awesome. Living Nature Thickening Mascara. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I just bought a new mascara actually, and I haven't been crazy about it. It, it doesn't really do much, so I've been thinking about buying a new one. And now I don't have to. So it's just a plain matte black bottle, and I'll show you what the brush looks like. Oh, and it's just a really simple brush, but that's okay. That's usually how I like them. It's got a very, very slight curve, but it looks like it's good. Mmm, it smells really nice, too. Oh, I'm so excited to try that. That is actually, like, the perfect thing to receive in this box this month. Next up, we have a teeny bottle of I Like Organic skincare and it says it's the great stem cell solutions cleansing milk so as I mentioned to you guys I don't really use cleansers or toners or anything like that but I will try it it might be something nice to try it doesn't really have a scent so that's a cute little bottle though okay next up we have whatever it is comes in this little bag so I'll try to open it it's from the Body Deli, which is the same company that made the aromatherapy spray that we got last time. So this is the, the Body Deli Daytime Moisturizer with Micronized Zinc and Olive Leaf. Oh, and it looks like now I understand. So it comes with a teeny tiny little like spoon, which I guess is how you're supposed to get it out of the container. It smells a little like citrusy. Oh, and it feels really nice, very silky, a very light moisturizer. Oh, that'll be really nice to try. I'm always looking for new moisturizers, so. The Body Deli, so far, like judging by this product and the spray, the smells of their products are just incredible. Oh, and it says this one is a raw moisturizer. That's awesome, so everything in it is still alive. So that's that'll be really, really cool to try. I haven't tried as much raw beauty products as I like as I would have liked to so that'll be really nice to try actually next up we have primavera juniper cypress body oil it says it's cleansing oil but you don't have to wash it off so you just massage it into damp skin in circular motions so this is really interesting let's see how it smells it doesn't have much of a scent again it kind of smells almost citrusy but just like a very subtle hint of citrus. So that'll be interesting to try. I've never tried a body oil. As I said, I use them on my face, but I've never tried one other than just using coconut oil. So I'll be really interested to try it to see what this is like. So next up, we have a lip balm from, I'm not gonna pronounce this right at all, Dr. Hauschka. And it's just a little 
lip balm. So let's open this up and try. I'm wearing lip gloss right now, so I don't know if I'll be able to put it on on top, but let's try. So that's what it looks like. It kind of looks very beeswaxy. It doesn't have much of a scent. It'll be, it feels like a very deep conditioning lip balm. So that will be interesting to try. Hopefully it's very moisturizing. And then we got the same sample we got last time, or no, this is slightly different. It's a Suki Face sample and it says it's the transformative cleansing clay. So it looks like it's a three in one purifying mask. So no, we didn't try this one last time, we just had a moisturizer. So that's kind of cool that it's a mask. That's it, that was the last product in the box. So we have a mask, eye serum, moisturizer, mascara, body oil, cleanser, and a lip balm. I definitely am a little bit more disappointed by this box. I was expecting, like, it's not a lot of makeup. I love getting the mascara, but I'm not as keen on some of the other products. Like I mentioned, I don't use skin cleansers. The lip balm is kind of like, you know, generic. I, I have so many lip balms, I don't really need any more, but I am really excited to try the mascara. I don't know if I'm going to say subscribed. It seems like it's a better box for people who are looking for a lot of skincare options. And I really am looking for more makeup. So I don't know if I'll say subscribed. I might do one more box and then we'll see how it goes. We'll see how April's box is and then I'll decide. But I'm really, really excited to try this mascara. That's definitely like the best thing I got in this box. But I will say this, it does really seem like you are getting your money's worth. Like this definitely is much more than $28 worth of products, especially since some of them are a little bit more high-end natural organic products. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're subscribed to Saffron Rouge and if you want to see more unboxing videos. Or let me know if you think I should say subscribed. As of right now, I'm probably leaning towards unsubscribing after the April box, depending on how that is. I will say though, the packaging that it comes in is beautiful. They do a really, really nice job of their presentation. So that's it for me today. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you aren't already, click the button down below to subscribe and become part of the family. I put out new videos every Monday and Friday. And don't forget, if you haven't already, check me out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Courtney's Vlog. And also on Twitter, it's at Courtney's Vlog, spelled the exact same way. I will put all the information in the description box below. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye.